everyone welcome back for another video we are going to be jumping right into some live stream coverage we haven't done a whole lot of that this week although there is a ton of live stream footage to get through so let's get a cracking on it um I am trying to go through it a little bit and I'm going to try to um, not let it go on as long because in these TikTok live streams, it's not a lot of conversation. A lot of what they're doing on here is, oh, thank you for the donation. Thank you for the emoji. Uh, like it, It's giving appreciation to the audience and going on about meaningless stuff. And I feel like that's kind of boring. So I will try to skip get through it a little bit and edit in only the contents that I think are worth, you know, worth making for the video. <laughs> so I'll do my best. That's all we can really do in life, right? So what have they been up to this week? Went to a gun store, been driving around a little bit, went to the Jeffree Star store, got a whole lot of merch shipped home to her in Connecticut. I'm um, just kind of been hanging out and they have been doing a lot of TikTok. Um, Jeffrey, now I just heard this. I didn't see this. I just heard this. That Jeffrey said that on Friday, Eugenia was getting a massage and that she wasn't going to be around. Um, so I don't believe that Eugenia, she, she might have, but I, at least from what I saw, I don't think that she went live Friday or Saturday. So I think that the last that we've seen of Eugenia was from Thursday. And um, I don't know. I, I don't think that a lot has gone on ever since that they went to the Jeffree Star store and everything. So I don't know. Let's just hop through this live stream and see if there's anything to chit chat about. Um, okay, here she is. Yeah, what's, what's weird about this is like for the first seven minutes, she's not even here. It's just us staring at a chair. Sorry that I took forever. I missed you guys too. I think that though guys, like I'm, I'm, I'm happy it's finally done. Um, Jeffrey gave me such good suggestions. <laughs> all right guys, well, all right. I'll let you guys be free and chat maybe for a little bit. We'll see. We'll see if you guys are feeling nice. Let's see what happens. <laughs> He's so sweet. He is the sweetest in the- Mmm. So you're only allowed to talk in a Eugenia Cooney TikTok live stream unless you're kissing her butt or telling her what she wants to hear. That, in my opinion, doesn't make for a very emotionally mature person. I think that once you get, what is she, 29? I, I think that once you get to be about 29, you really shouldn't be pushing away people and not say, oh, I don't want to listen to it anymore. I don't want to hear it. Uh, you should be able to take constructive criticism as an adult. You should be able to accept things. And just because you don't necessarily want to hear it or you don't necessarily want other people saying it, I, I mean, uh, what, what are you going to do? Just sweep it under the rug, not listen to it. I, I don't think that really makes her a very progressive kind of person. And I know that a lot of you would maybe turn around and say, well, Jordan, I don't know if we're necessarily considering in this equation that this is the level-headed adult in the scenario that you're discussing here. Yes, level-headed adults should be able to accept constructive criticism, but in this case, maybe we should... So I don't know. But you know what? Same thing goes with Jeffrey. Same thing goes with Jeffrey and some of the other people on TikTok that they associate with. Or Every time that people go in there and they say things that they don't want to hear or they don't want to address or questions that they don't want to be asked. Oh, we're going into subscriber only mode. You have to pay me to talk to me. If you want to talk trash to me, you're paying to do it. I, I don't. I, I'm just I'm just speaking from personal experience. I can count on one hand how many comments I have manually deleted off of my videos. And I'm not trying to blow smoke up my own ass. I'm just saying, if you're on here and you have a platform and you're trying to entertain people and you're trying to be your authentic self, be prepared for people to come in and go in on you. Because I, I've had a lot of people say a lot of nasty things to me and a lot of things that I would have rather not read or... <laughs> Or been asked. But, I mean, what are we supposed to do in life? We only want to hear the good. We only want to see the good. We only want to acknowledge the good. Because newsflash, the world is full of not good. <laughs> 
And if you ignore that not good, it gets worse. So I don't really like that. I know that I may have blown up this example a little bit and kind of gone on a tangent, but I'm just not a fan of content creators who pick and choose what they want their audience to say about them. It's like, oh, like what? Like people, you're not allowed to have, you know, people that follow you that have different opinions or make you want to think a different way or help you grow as a person. You don't want that. That kind of tells me that you're not very open-minded or willing to mature mentally or emotionally. Um, Part of what makes a good content creator, in my opinion, is the willingness to be vulnerable and kind of put themselves on the line and open themselves up to the internet. Because I get it. The internet's a very vicious, nasty place. So in my book, if you're able to come on here and you're able to show your authentic self, you know, without infringing on privacy or anything like that, but if you're able to come on here and be a straight shooter, I appreciate that way more than someone that comes on here and says, "Uh uh-uh, no, 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 get out of here, haters. I don't want to hear this. I don't want, no, uh uh-uh. The internet's for everyone. The internet's for everyone. And that's what people don't like about that. Because in real life, there's a lot of scenarios where you can pick and choose who's in your social circle. But on the internet on here, you're talking to everybody, all walks of life, all different ethnicities, sexual orientations, everybody. So if you just don't like what other people have to say just because they have a different experience in life, I mean, you're you're coming across as very ignorant in not hearing them out. Just my opinion. I'm allowed to have one of those world so all right guys i'm gonna turn on some requests you know just like we're finally done so (laughs) omg hey how you guys doing wait uh uh-oh you heard what wait what we heard your call wait Tazra, thank you. They do this every time. <laughs> the chat does this to her every time. Any any time like Eugenia like shows a part of her body or she leaves the room to go have a conversation with someone or she turns around. Or, I, I don't know. They'll always the chat will always try to bait her into saying, girl. We heard what you and Jeffrey were saying, and then she'll kind of feed into it a little bit. I don't, I don't know if she's playing along with it or if she is genuinely concerned, but I'd imagine when she wasn't here these first seven minutes, she was in the other room talking to somebody. So if someone's in the chat going, girl, we heard what you said, Eugenia might actually take that bait because we've seen it in the past. The chat is able to get a rise out of her and they are able to get under her skin. I, I mean, think about the whole diaper thing. That, for people that go in Eugenia's chat solely to get under her skin and troll her and try to make her worried or concerned or whatever, the day that they got that rise out of her with the diaper thing, I think that that sort of served and functioned as a catalyst to people that are interested in trolling this woman. I think that they took that diaper thing and they they really did run with it. So, I mean, you you do, you see this in Eugenia's chat and stuff. I mean, I don't think that it makes up a large portion of her viewership, but there definitely are people that are going to her chat just to try to get a rise out of her, or get under her skin, or, you know, admit to something that she didn't necessarily have to admit to, etc. You couldn't hear? Okay, good, guys. Just because, like, you know, sometimes if things are muted... If there's like personal things being said, they're like, okay, okay, good. Just sometimes if we're talking about like, you know, personal things or personal information, um, we're just like, oh my gosh, we're good. Okay, thanks guys. You guys scared me. Stop doing that to me. SpongeBob's here. What's up, SpongeBob? How are you? Our favorite. Plunge in the world. I got you guys. Listen. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, guys. Do me a favor, guys. We have do we have 555 points in a battle? Okay, Let's go. This is me, Eugenia's era of music. Yes. Wow, what a throwback. 
It's giving you my space. Two thousand eight, everybody, friends since two thousand eight. This is me and Eugenia's era of music. I've known her for fifteen years. <laughs> Right, let me meet and say thank you to my MVPs. Oh my gosh, Star Family, let's go. What a beautiful day this has been. Oh MVP God. Paul, thank you so much. Pink Psychedelic, Karen, Heather Lynn, Brayden, Celine, Victoria, Best Buds, Alejandro. And hey, it's Ray. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Big love. So in order to be a part of the Star Family, mwah, do you have to give Jeffrey like $500? How, how does this work? Because I'd imagine if you're MVP, you'd given him by then a significant amount. Because every time that someone sends in like uh, a little heart hands or whatever, I mean, those aren't, those aren't much. I mean, what, like a dollar, dollar, five dollars. I mean, I mean, I think anything over one penny is pointless on this, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, with the tier of emojis, it's like the heart hands or like the cowboy thing or the elephant that always comes up on the screen. That's a lot different than him giving you a special shout out. I mean, if you're getting a special shout out from Jeffrey, you've done some major butt kissing financially. Huh? Does anyone know? Does that, seriously, let me know in the comments. If you know how much it is to be a part of the star family, moi. Let me know. Up to the star family. The star family. Okay, get it, Jeffrey. We're just mi we're just mildly climbing. No, yeah, just basically just getting on already, like you know, right up there. Yeah. <laughs> Wild. Drop it on doves. Right, the buy one get one free. It's a bobo thing. Use the doubles. Clover, don't worry about blocking. Use the doves. Use the doves. I mean, like, I, I am. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really trying not to make the commentary of these videos me bashing TikTok live, but it, it's very difficult sometimes. I mean, really, a bogo. A, a BOGO. You can get a buy one, get one free, stupid little heart hand. <laughs> Good lord. Matthew. There we go, baby. Good job. Let's go, chat. We do what we can in here. Sequia. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Se Sequia. Oh, thank you so much. Ted with the seal and well. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, yeah. I haven't seen that gift in so long. The whale came out of the ashes, bitch. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh look at me. Oh my gosh, that's I'm crying. <laughs> you deserve it, Jeffrey. Oh my gosh, I'm ovulating. Sequoia, thank you so much for the money, God. And Hope I'm saying your name right. I'm so sorry. Virginia Sequoia. Sequoia. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you always say it wrong. You guys know we never let Eugenia out of the house, so she don't know anyone's new names. Yeah, that's why, guys. You know, I just like I'm always like handcuffed in here. <laughs> <laughs> Eugenia, is your left ankle shackle a little too tight yeah, tonight or no? A little bit, Jeffrey. Maybe like we could loosen it like a little bit, you know. Okay, I'll be there in this battle after this battle's over. We got a minute yeah, left. Thank you. You know, thank you. Gotta, I get how it is though. You know? I, I mean, it's more figurative restriction than it is literal restriction. I mean, no, there are not shackles on Eugenia's ankles or arms binding her to her room. But when you're Deb Cooney and you've kind of coached and manipulated your daughter for decades to the point where she doesn't really know how to go about life as an adult i mean isn't that in a way like binding your child to you um so no it's a lot more complex than just a ball and chain i'm like girl the, the key's in the other room just relax but is there um some form of what they're making fun of right now. I mean, I saw, and I still see this get addressed throughout the community with the whole um, bells on the front door thing. 
people like to talk about the bells on the front door thing from the one episode uh, of uh, when, her going to see the moon or trying to go see the moon. Oh, it's a super moon tonight. Let me go see it. And then she went to the front door and tried to rattle the front door and it just made all this noise. And the mom woke up and went, <gasps> what are you doing? What are you, where are you going? Where are you going? It's weird. It's weird. Um, I don't know. I've I've seen a whole bunch of theories about that, though. I've seen some people were saying, like, maybe that's for the dog. Maybe that's for um, intruders. Maybe that's for the brother. I've seen a whole lot of things. But bottom line, I think it's strange. Okay. Thank you so much. Stay all nice and tied up. That's right, you guys. She's locked up with the gothic yak. I am, you guys. I got the gothic yak. You know, me and the gothic yak, we just got to hang out. Not a gothic yak. Yeah, the gothic yak. Yeah, Crystal, I know it's crazy. It's like, that's what happens. It's Jeffrey and my mom. They just got to lock me up all the time. You know? (laughs) It's just how it goes. Again, I mean, Deb may not do that literally, but there's other ways of making someone submissive to you and succumb to all of your demands. Doesn't have to be with chains. We're gonna break her free, That's y'all. Just how it goes. Break me free, everybody. Oh, I gotta get in my cage tonight. I know, guys. Yep, when I sleep, I gotta. Get in the cage, you know, like Ollie Oblox, thank you so much for gifting a sub. Yes. Like, how do some people not get that some things are a joke? Like, I'm like, do you guys yeah, really think like, that's a cage? Okay, Isabella, thank you. I mean, everyone understands that it's a joke. It's the fact that. <laughs> This is, girl. It's your life. I I, I don't know. Like, if, if if this is funny to you, I mean, if this is the way that you try to play it off and everything, I mean, there's there's more of an excuse for her regarding this whole thing because of the condition and the nature of it and everything. But one, two, and three here, you should know better. Eugenia, should we let's branch out and battle some other people and then we'll come back together? All right, sounds good. All right, well, bye guys. Have so fun. Many requesting. All right, I'll let you guys battle some more people. Love you guys. Sorry, I'm just like exiting. Okay, bye. All right, guys. Well, that was super fun. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go. We're gonna do like some separate battles, branch out. You know, yes. How are you guys doing? Um, oh, I love you, Chelsea Gray. That was so fun. Yeah, they're all awesome there. So like, they're all always so fun to battle. <laughs> hey, Dustin, it was amazing seeing Jeffrey's store today. His store, it is like, it is so beautiful. It's even cooler in person. It's so cool. K- KP Co, thank you for the heart me. Makeup looks incredible. Oh, thank you. Cream made a palette. And Jeffrey was also nice enough to let me borrow his trench coat lipstick. So good. Everyone- Ew. Borrowing lipstick? Everyone what? loved you at the store. Oh my god, thank you. I had such a good time going. And it was so cool getting to like see it in person and everything. Aw, Shelly, thank you for the hearts. Oh, Jesse, thank you. I really did have such an amazing day today. Today was so much fun, so I appreciate it. Ooh, I'm getting uh, some spam requests. Oh my gosh. Jeffrey's house seems like the most fun sleepover ever. It really is, guys. Like, and he's just been so like welcoming and so kind and everything. So yeah, it's been awesome. It's been so fun. You're falling asleep, really? Oh, I don't know. I feel I feel pretty awake right now. A 37-year-old man with a 29-year-old woman pl- 
platonic friends. Best sleepover ever. <laughs> oh, Savannah, good luck on your interview. Yes, yeah, Savannah, I hope you have an amazing interview. Good luck, of course. What time is it there? That's a good question. I actually don't know. Um, does anyone know what time it is mountain time? Is that kind of dull? <laughs> oh, Drudy, thank you. It's been such an amazing week. 10.30? Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I was going to guess it was like around that, but I wasn't positive. Around 10 p.m. Okay, thanks everybody. 10.30, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, I love you too, Nessie. Of course. No problem at all. I just imagine Deb alone in a hotel room somewhere in Wyoming in a dark room watching on a tablet this stream. <laughs> Aw. Oh my gosh, Outpig! Outpig with the subscription. Thank you so much. <laughs> Jeffrey, hi! Oh. Did she say out pig? If if she said the out pig that I'm thinking about, that's unfortunate because out pig actually has a lot of funny videos. And your chat wants to hear you. Oh if your chat wants to hear you more. I mean, oh. I, I did the whole time and yeah. Oh yeah. Good oh my god, thank you. My house is Sorry, really fun. Good you. vibes only, you guys. Yes, good only vibes good only. Vibes, guys. Do you guys kind of get the vibe that Jeffrey's lonely? I mean, like, I mean, what, what, if it wasn't for his security or his staff or his team, I mean, I don't know. He, he just seems bored. He seems lonely. I mean, he has he has these like random people from TikTok fly out to stay with him. Just because, and he seems like he's someone that likes to have people around, but has a difficult time keeping people around. So I, I don't know. Is this is this kind of what we've resorted to? The only people you can get to stay around are people that kiss your butt immensely and would lick the floor that you walked on. I'm not sure. I don't know. Jeffrey just seems a little bit sad a little bit depressed um and who knows maybe maybe he is um god how long has it been since he and the boyfriend broke up what was that guy's name this he skateboarded nathan was it nathan i think it was nathan yeah that's been like three or four years now has he dated oh you know what he has dated um but it was just for scandals it was just for drama Remember, he did the whole thing about, like, the dating the NBA player or whatever. Um, hmm. And with Jeffrey here, it's been such a good vibe. Like, Always. honestly. It's, it's, it's yes, 1.1 million likes. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Yes. Shaya, let's go. Oh, thank you. Was it Cheyenne? I hope I said that right. But... I just probably said it wrong. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Don't be sorry at all, <laughs> Jeffrey. I feel like I screwed up so many names. Like, what, Se Se Sequoia? Sequoia's that girl. Yeah. She is. She's so sweet. It's like, I gotta get, I gotta get her name down. Yeah. And like, a lot of people have been telling me they love. Trench like, girl. yes. That's fine. It's such a good one. Jeweling. Jeweling with the shooting stars. Okay, Thank you. Really You're new to products. What if Jeffrey's products would I recommend getting first? Everything. And my hope in winter is like really good. Especially winter, like when your skin kind of starts getting dry. But yeah, cremate is amazing. If you're looking for, see, like with me guys, I kind of love like that gothic, like, oh my gosh, Kayla. Kayla. Really? I never would have guessed. Um, I don't know if there's a whole lot that goes on. If you're wondering why it's not full screen, it's because I left it on recording and, you know, went about my day and I don't sit here and stare at the monitor while she does this. So whenever she pauses and then unpauses it, it takes it off full screen for some reason. How long does this go on for? Oh, okay. She does another battle. You know what? I hate to say it, but no, I don't. It, when Eugenia does these battles with these people, I just, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be too entertaining ever. 
How long does this go on for? Out and, you know, just like spend time together. Like, that's definitely like number one. I mean, like, seriously, like he's just such a great person and he's so cool to like be around and he's such a great friend. So even just kind of getting to like hang out and spend time together and talk, like it's been so cool. Oh my gosh, his animals, like his, his, his dogs. I don't think, it, I think they're all out of here right now, but they're adorable. They're even more amazing in person and they're so sweet, so. Um, have you ever built someone up in your head to be amazing and the perfect person and hardworking and honest and kind and sweet and, you know, insert positive adjective and then you meet them or get to know them or spend a lot of time with them and it's like, oh God, I was wrong about you. Um, I think that, that you, that's Eugenia, what she's kind of doing here. Um, I think that Eugenia has built a person in her head of who Jeffrey is. And now that she's there, she's not really been getting to know the real Jeffrey. She's just kind of going off of that persona in her head. And she will perpetuate that forever. And nothing will ever tarnish that image of Jeffrey. Nothing. I don't think that anything could i mean really like I, I don't know like cp allegations could come out against jeffrey and i think eugenia would still be able to go it's a big misunderstanding jeffrey's an amazing person you're not able to really peel back the onion of someone's personality and the layers of who they are when you think that they're amazing because you never get past that surface level of them all you see is that perfect image of them in your mind so I, I don't think eugenia ever really gets to know people for who they are they're just she just sees what's on a screen she sees makeup she sees gothic she sees myspace she sees all these things that she wants to see not what's actually in front of her well, it's been so cool getting to spend time with them um oh just everything i'm like how do i choose everything's been amazing how long have I known Jeffrey? Years, guys. Yeah, we've actually known each other from like the internet for a really long time. And you know, that's not unique to just this situation. I mean, you can apply that to all sorts of things in life. Um, one example that comes to my mind is if I really like a TV show, if I was water or music, if I was really into it during a part of my life, um, that was like, you know, a little bit more difficult for me or it helped me through something and they made more seasons of the TV show or they ended up making more music and that sucked. I will purposely avoid exposing myself to that because I do not want it to tarnish the image of what once was. <laughs> it's like, oh, this means so much to me. I don't ever want to lose the distorted sense of reality or what I've built this up to be in my head with something new. I, I don't want to bring in new information so that it might tarnish the good that I have with this. But... You know, I guess that that I, I guess that's just like a different way of describing ignorance is bliss. Uh, should we move on from this? OK, let's move on to something else, because there really wasn't a whole lot left on that portion of the footage. So this was, I believe, earlier in the night. Um, yeah, it probably would have made sense for me to do this and then the footage that I just did, but we're going out of order. We're being a little quirky like that today. Is that all right with everyone to be a little bit quirky? <laughs> hey, you guys. So we're going to do makeup on stream today. Um, hello, Brooklyn. What's up? How are you? I'm not dead yet. I know. Isn't that crazy? I know people always come in, they're like, wow, Eugenia, I thought you died. But, yep, not yet. <laughs> um, what did I get at Jeffree's store, guys? Honestly, way too much. I, I, I feel bad about it. It's like... Oh, my God. Not yet. Not yet, everybody. I, I mean, to hear that, while she's sitting there in a skull and bones mesh long sleeve. It's just, I, I don't. Jeffrey's one of like the kindest, most generous people ever. So it's, oh, hi, Jeffrey. Hey. People were just like, what did you get at Jeffrey's store? And I was like, it was like the best thing. 
think I like you should awesome. not have to get like I just tell them like I feel so bad taking anything, but you're so sweet and it's just such a good time. So Thank you. Yes. You're the best time. I'm so glad you just got to see it. Thank you so much. I was so happy to see it. It's like it's the most beautiful store ever, so I think everybody should go. Um, yes. Sorry guys, I'm just sending a line over oh, here to my friend. Oh my god! Yay! Debbie's like the best sniper on the Zap ever. Oh, that's so cool. She looks really familiar. That's Vanna. She did. Jeffrey's amazing. Jeffrey's the best. Jeffrey's awesome. Everyone should go watch his TikTok. Everyone should go shop at his store. Everyone should. I just feel like after this trip, after she gets back and everything, um, it, it's just she's going to amp it up. It's just I feel like now that she's attached herself to Jeffrey, it, it's like. It's like a little kid with dinosaurs, you know, you know, like how little kids get attached to one thing and it's like the, all that they, you know, their whole personality is dinosaurs, 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 everything's dinosaurs. Like for her, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, everything's Jeffrey. I, I've heard though that she's going to LA because <clears throat> remember they said the thing about going trick or treating in LA after this. So I don't know if they're flying from wyoming to la well they'd probably go what monday sunday or monday and then be there for some type of event on tuesday but i'm not sure if she'll just go straight home your own yeah. makeup tonight oh wow i thought it was a filter i know so did i so i almost insulted her by saying is that a filter and she does look at my own makeup and i'm like oh my god oh my it's gosh. so beautiful it came out so because she does fitness, so I didn't think yeah. she did makeup. And I'm you like, wouldn't normally think so. It's beautiful. She's so talented. Beautiful. So mm -hmm. cool. I could be like, oh, do you like a cool new like, appetite filter? Right. <laughs> so he could walk in there and be talking about the same person and say the exact opposite about that person, and Eugenia would agree. Oh, this woman looks horrible. Her makeup's awful. Uh, she's supposed to be a fitness page. Doesn't really look like she's doing that well. And Eugenia would go along with it. <sighs> That's amazing. Hey, y'all. Oh, guys, say hi to Jeffrey. He's the best. I just did my skincare routine. Oh, my gosh. It's looking so good. It's like this Jeffrey skincare uh, No, just watering the plants with Deb. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You and Deb, you know, you guys, like, they all have to water plants together. <laughs> We had a merry oh old time. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. What are you going to dip into today, this? Mm, that's what I was so thinking. I want you to use something else. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. What else could I okay. use? Like, see, I wish I would have, like, brought more. Oh, I have them all. Oh. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just show you a few and you say yes or no. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is, I, wait, Jeffrey, you're okay with me, like, using them? Like, I really want you to do this one today. Oh, I love I know. it. It's, like, one of my favorites yeah. ever. Like, oh! Let's go. I'm it's feeling so this one much. for you today. Oh my gosh. And Jeffrey, like. Isn't it beautiful? I Only if you want to use it. 100%. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorites ever. So I Which do one is yours? Oh, oh, good. This is brand new. Okay, so mine. Oh, or did I. Probably it's going to be that one then. Mine's going to probably be a little bit more. Yeah, this one's yours. Yep, that's oh, mine. <laughs> but are you sure you're okay with me yeah. using it? Are you in that kind of mood or do you want something brighter? Honestly, no. It's almost as if we're seeing someone from like 2009, like a, like a, like an 11 year old girl who has meet and greet with the Jonas Brothers. I mean, I, I have never seen a person do this. Like so much, you know, like the the being excited, hands folding over mouth kind of thing. Like like an eleven year old meeting meeting their like Justin Bieber meet and greet. Oh gosh, are you sure that you want me to use this palette? Are you sure that I can open up your refrigerator? Are you sure that I can get a free candle at your store? Oh. I cremated. I always love using that one. It's just, it's like she's made a friend for the first time ever, and she wants to desperately try so hard to not screw this up. Like it's always it's one of my favorites. Relaxed. 
So, yeah, like, no, I love this one. Like, the black suits, like, they're, like, my favorite. So, that Psychedelic Circus so is fun. great, though. I love that one. See, guys? Yeah, Jeffrey's the best. You guys say he doesn't help me? Yes, he does. Oh, that's such a pretty... And then we'll, we'll see what kind of hair color you're going to have. Makeup and candles aren't what you need, sweetheart. If Jeffrey was ac actually interested in helping you, you wouldn't be at the you wouldn't be at the ranch right now. Oh my! You guys say that Jeffrey doesn't help me. Look, he brought me this palette and plugged in my phone and moved my chair for me. He's helping me. A palette and a moved chair is not what you need, Eugenia. Tomorrow. Ooh. I love that. Mm -hmm. It's like Little Mermaid. Maybe one of, right? <laughs> yes. Maybe this Wait, one. Was that the one that I think you had on a while ago? Yeah, like, for my new transition from yesterday. It looks. TV. Oh, yeah, that came out mm -hmm. so good. Oh, I yes, love so that. the Boo Ghost. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you so much for the Boo Ghost, guys. Amazing. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. That would be, yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe tomorrow, like, if you're putting the wigs on, like, you're, they're all gonna look great on you. This is super minor, like very minor. Um, maybe even a little bit nitpicky and unnecessary for me to say. But I have noticed, and I don't know if this is a new thing that she's doing or if she's always done this, but I have noticed that when Eugenia says the word the or the word there or they, She's almost like pronouncing it like with a D at the beginning, like duh, and dare is no more makeup. Dare is no way I'm going to open his refrigerator. They are so nice. I, I, I don't just, has anyone else noticed that recent, is that a, is that a recent thing that she's doing or has she always done that? But I don't know. Maybe there's other little things that she does because before before um, the slurping thing, I never noticed the slurping thing, and now I notice it because someone pointed it out. So, oh, this one's so pretty. That is awesome. With like, oh, wow. Mustard. Jay custom colored this one. Oh my gosh, he's so talented. Cool. Yellow, cool purple, is, black, guys. green. So cool. He's beautiful. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Yeah, that was the other one you had on live that night, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah, that was so good. Here's a white so liquid eyeshadow you. if you need it. Oh my gosh, thank Here's the you. white shimmer. Thank you And then so anything much. over here, please feel free. You're so sweet letting me get this stuff. Like, I'm like, oh, oh I would never want to like, oh. You're amazing. <laughs> thank you so of much. Course. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, they still go in today with like the... This troll comment, I'm just like, no. it's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> right? Like, we where did that come from? That word. Yeah, we might, because yeah, like, we'll I don't know if they really old. thought I was, or if they're just like, <laughs> so weird. Stop it. Oh my God, it's probably <laughs> true. So I don't look like I want to cry. I definitely do not want to cry today, unless it's of happiness. You know, yes. crying of happy tears. Unless it's tears of joy, you joy guys. Tears we have of joy. Zero desire to cry today. You do not want to cry, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, live your best life. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. 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 <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. Amanda, thank you. Exactly. Exactly. We got the amazing. Oh. Your chat goes so fast like mine. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh, they, they like to, they type pretty fast sometimes. But it's better be nice to Jeffrey here. Hi, y'all. How are you doing? We've yeah, had the Mama best Jay. week already. We've had the best week together. We really have. It's been like Mama the Jay, the ARs ever. are loaded up for tomorrow, honey. Oh my gosh, yay. We can't wait to see you again. Oh, we can't wait. Mama Jay, you are like seriously such a energy. sweet person. She really does like... You were right. Like, I figured she'd be so nice, but everything you're like, she's yeah. such like a just real. There is no way that Eugenia is shooting an AR. I, I, I mean, the girl that had to move the chair, or that had to have the chair moved for her in the kitchen is not holding an AR and shooting it at a yak. There's no way. Awesome, amazing person. 
unethical. What are we doing like, sitting here? What's unethical with some of these comments? Is... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like, guys, we're just, oh my gosh, wow. Oh my god. Shut up. Oh, they gave us a boost house. That's awesome. That gift oh is so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's Whoa. go. Shauna, you're amazing. You are seriously. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, my thank mess you in front so of you. much. <laughs> was, I, I was like, okay, I brought this back. I don't want to take up Jeffrey's like makeup oh, yeah. space. Oh, you you're fine. This? Wherever is good. Ooh, the eyes. I love the eyes. <laughs> They're so cool. Like all the TikTok okay. gifts they've been adding. Are amazing. They are such cool ones. Okay. Yes, this is Jeffrey, you guys. He is the best ever. Just love me. Yes. <laughs> True. <laughs> I would feel so weird if one of my friends or someone that I knew around me was constantly saying this over and over again. They're amazing. They're awesome. They're great. They're, uh, I feel so uncomfortable. Friendship ever. Exactly, Mama J. Honestly, I'm so thankful to have him as a friend. Like, he's like the best friend that anybody could have. And, and everything's good with her. She got oh, sorry. perfect. Oh, you guys met three days ago, and that's your best friend that you could ever have. It is. I mean, it's like something she's never had before. And this is the first time that she's ever had this. So she's like really overdoing it. Okay, perfect. Beautiful motion. Yay. Mm -hmm. The bathroom's just need a wet sponge. Oh, thank you so much. And then I think. Oh, and like, oh, and oh, today I remembered it. Okay, today cool. I was like, I am not gonna, you know. Where is it? So it's in my bag. I could go get it. Okay. Like right okay. now, I think I'm good. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm now. still pretty charged. Mine. But perfect. Yay. Yay. Yeah, so you're going to go in the kitchen then or wherever's yeah, good? I'm going to go live. Yay. All right. Well, Let me know if you need anything to holler. Oh, you're the best. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, guys, Jeffrey, he is the sweetest. He is the best. And Mama J, if you're still here, you're amazing. Like, I had so much fun with you today. Like, you and Jeffrey, like, both of you guys, I just feel like have such good energy. And and it's like, you guys together, it's like... <laughs> and I can't thank you enough for, like, everything. Everything in the cowboy shop. I wasn't expecting any of that ever. So, it's like... I love my like you guys... Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look, it's right here. Oh, there it is. Je so silly. Jeffrey could spit in her face and she would still say that he's giving off good vibes. <laughs> no, it's like, I, I forget mine all the time. I'm like always losing it. <laughs> Aww. If it's hard to watch, you can leave. Exactly. You guys, her skin is... Oh, look. Don't like it. Don't watch it. Guys, there's a, there's a million other things on TikTok that you could be watching right now. I, I mean, doing quite literally the most, the absolute most to get people to watch you. And then when they do and say something about it, oh, well, you don't have to be here. <laughs> I, I mean, at this point, they really should wear T-shirts or paint on their forehead. Like, please watch my channel. So then when people do and they come in and they have something to say, well, I'm blocking you. Oh my god. He's amazing in person. Thank you, Jeffrey. It feels so soft. Yeah, they've always like telling me like, oh look, she's looking so bad. It's like uh, oh. must be a And she likes telling him that people are mean to her. I like can we talk about why that might be? Like I, I I've noticed whenever he comes by or in the room or whatever, she, Eugenia loves to come on and say Oh, Jeffrey, get a load of what these people are saying to me in the chat. Do you think that that's maybe so that she can look to him for validation that the people in the chat are crazy? 
she's she's in a way inviting him into the conversation to help gaslight the audience. Oh, Jeffrey, can you believe that they came in here and said this to me? They're crazy, right? And then he backs up whatever she says, and then she feels validated. Self-reflection. Maybe. <laughs> Becky, thank you. And guys, like, we already noticed, but Jeffrey's skin is, like, completely flawless. So if he tells me it's good, like, then I'm like, hey, it can't be that bad. Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys, she's about to do a makeup tutorial. Yes, we're going to be doing cremated palette. One of the, the best. best. I love that one so much. Look at how the dog is saying hi to you. Oh my gosh, hi guys. They love you. Dog stands good energy. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. Mm. Like, they've been so sweet to me. I think we're the best. It's like, if they're the best, it's like you, the dogs, like <laughs> everyone here. It's like, it's the best energy ever here. Becky Nicole, thank you for the hearts. Becky, you're so amazing. How are you today? What is that about Deb, guys? What are you guys saying about Deb again? Deb is on the live, y'all. She's making sure everything's going okay. Oh, wow. Wow, Jeffrey, did you know that you weren't the only one that came in? See, see, she likes doing that. She loves repeating all the rumors and all the criticism and everything that people say to her in the chat to him. She loves being the messenger. Deb was in the live too, apparently. I just want to make sure your shackle wasn't too tight tonight. How's oh, it, yeah, how's exactly. Your how's your ankle? I think it's okay. You know, okay, I think cool, the cool, ties cool. aren't like too, okay, too cool. crazy tonight. If they are, you just push the button, okay? Oh, thank you. See, if what he's trying to do is play the hero here... Because if anything were to happen or later on, like the longevity of Jeffrey's career and people think back to his friendship with her, you know, if later on when he goes to say, listen, I, I feel like there wasn't much to say at that point. I was just trying to be a good friend to her. I was trying to be a good person to her because really that's what she needed. But is that really what you're doing here? Because there's many instances of you playing along with all of the things that she say. Like like playing up the whole, like, oh, she's shackled, she can't leave, she can't do this. Like making fun of the chat and gaslighting the chat in a very similar way that she does. So if Jeffrey in the future later comes around and tries to play the hero... Or, well, hey, listen, I just saw this from a different point of view, and I just wanted to be the best person possible to her. Like, is that really what you're doing? Really? Thank you so much, Jeffrey. Like, you were the best, like... <laughs> you <laughs> 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 be the yeah, best you just shackles. click the red button if it gets too tight, okay? okay I'll try. I'll Thank try to, like, know. properly press it, Good you know? Girl. <laughs> yes, maybe I won't need the handcuffs today. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, guys, Jeffrey, he's the best conservator. Yeah, Deb's my mom. Yeah. Yeah, him and my mom are, like, they're actually my conservators. If you guys didn't already know that. That's how it goes here. Becky! <laughs> Becky, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much, always, Becky. Becky, thank you for the ghost. Thank you, Sharp, with the paper crane. <laughs> Yeah, conservatorships, yeah, basically the same kind of thing. Definitely. Clip the bangs. Uh, look, I can just kind of push them back. You know? Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Heather. With the boo the ghost. What does my mom think of Jeffrey? She thinks he's amazing. <laughs> You guys, they get along. They're my conservators. <laughs> no, but like for real, like seriously guys. Amanda, thank you with the ICU. My mom also thinks that Jeffrey's amazing. Like honestly, there's no reason not to. Oh my gosh, Rich. <laughs> Rich, how are you? Rich, thank you so much for that boo the ghost. I would love to be a fly on the wall during the con like throughout the conversation of Deb Cooney and Jeffree Star. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh my god. I'm sure the Deb is suspicious. I bet Deb is suspicious. Just because I think after the thing that happened with Jacqueline, Deb is suspicious of anyone that wants to get close to Eugenia. But Jeffrey really hasn't done or said anything yet that may suggest to her that he's trying to pull a fast one on Eugenia. So in their minds, if you go along with what they're trying to do and what they're trying to say about Eugenia's life, then you're a good guy. If you do the opposite, you're the enemy. So Jeffrey's in the good graces. Thank you so much. Rich, how are you? It's great to see you in here. Thank you, Amanda. But honestly, you guys, Jeffrey, he shows so much kindness. Like, not just to me, but to her, to I feel like so many people. I just think we need more truly kind, like genuine, real people like him. You get it, Jeffrey's amazing. Good, you should get it. So it's like, I'll always say that, guys. Like, I will always say that about him. Oh, we know. We know. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, if there is one thing that I'm sure of when watching this footage from the past week, I, it's that. <laughs> so, um, oh my gosh, Mama J. And you're so amazing, Mama J. <laughs> Thank you so much for the hand heart. Seriously, so much love to you. You are such an amazing person. And I had so much fun with you today. Like, I could just like never thank you enough for like making it like such an amazing day. And yeah, guys, if you're gonna ask like what my mom thinks of Jeffrey, of Mama J, we got to hang out with her today too. And she's so sweet. She's got such a good energy. She's such like a beautiful soul. Jeffrey is so real, exactly. It's like good, like real people. Yeah, not think like some others, exactly. So, yes. <laughs> oh, you're just saying how amazing you are, you and Mama J. Oh my God, he wasn't gone like four minutes and he's already back and she's the teacup Yorkie nipping at his heels, telling him how perfect and amazing he is. Oh my God, Jeffrey must love this. I would be driven insane after the first hour. After the first hour, I would have been at my wit's end. I mean, clearly if he keeps coming back to the room to hear it again and again and again and again, maybe this is like way more Regina George than I originally thought. What a good day we had. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, you're like, what does Deb think of Jeffrey? I'm like, guys, she loves him. She's great. Yes. They're my conservators, you know? Or what? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Deb Cooney is great. Eugenia thinks Jeffrey's great, and Jeff thinks Deb is great. And they, they they have good barometers of being able to determine who has a good aura or who has good energy or good vibes. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. Aw. Hey, y'all. Is it cold over there? It's getting cold. Yeah, it's yeah. Wyoming. It's getting a little cold. You know, but... And also, people people travel with their family all the time, you guys. Yeah, guys. You know, like, sometimes, why? like... Don't make it weird. I know. I don't know why they all have to make it into, like, such a, like, crazy, like, weird mm. thing. <laughs> they want to know what everyone thinks of everybody. Mm. We're just doing... Yeah, we're just doing snow. Yes. What is wrong with y'all? Be nice. We, I've never, right. we don't do any of that. Oh, my... I mean, I don't care that she went with the mom, but, I mean... It's so obvious. Like we know why the mom went. I mean, at twenty, at twenty, if you're trying to tell us, you know, nothing's wrong, everything's great, you guys are delusional, blah blah blah. A twenty-nine-year-old can't fly from Connecticut to Wyoming to visit somebody without the mom tagging along. Yeah, no, no, no. Just family. Families travel together all the time. What are you, what are you guys saying? What do you? What? Oh, the amount of gaslighting. The, the amount of gaslighting that takes place in these streams. Is that what they're saying? Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, they can, they can go. <laughs> oh, my God. 
my gosh, some of these people. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you for the ghosts. Thank you for the ghosts, guys. We love them. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you for like, you know. <laughs> so, oh, oh, another, another sweetheart here. Okay, the rest of them can stay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, they're, they're oh, they're done blocking people. <laughs> All right. I think that that might be a good place to end. So I'm thinking what we'll do is I kind of went out of order with this one. We did. Did we do this stream? Okay. So there... how long is the stream? This one's three hours. Okay. So this one was three hours. We got through a little bit of it. And then we did, we, we covered later of this night of the 25th. So we did. Late night 25th, we're going to do early evening of the 25th later on. So then that will, okay. I don't, and then I don't know if I have any footage. Ah, do I? I think I have footage from Thursday. I don't have any footage from Friday and Saturday though. So, all right. Well, thanks for hanging out, y'all. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know, as always, let me know what you think about all this. And uh, be chatting with you soon.